Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, apps for writing poetry in your classroom. Hi, my name is Guy Trainen, and this is iPads in the Classroom from TechEdge, and today I want to talk about writing poetry in the classroom, and ReadWriteThink has been producing a lot of apps lately, and some of them are available online as well as as apps, but I think they're working fantastically as apps, and we're going to look at a few that help you write poetry in the classroom. So I'll go first to one of my favorite forms, and that is the haiku. So we can go into the haiku and you'll see that this comes from Read, Write, Think. You can create a multiple users. So even if you are in a one iPad classroom or with a few iPads, each student can have their own profile. So I'll log into my profile and you can see that there's a short description of what is a haiku and as appropriate for haikus, it's a short description and a few examples, and then there are different things that they talk about, being inspired, having an experience and bringing it into the poem, like taking a walk, and there is a discussion about the syllables, the 575 five structure, although they also mention that you don't have to abide by it fully, and then there's the aha moment, that moment in a haiku where something, a different layer, is uh, uncovered in the poem. And so you can start, and here are the words and the syllable counts, so you can actually brainstorm, and all of these apps that I'm going to talk about today allow space for brainstorming and do not necessarily start immediately with the written poem. So they are doing that pre-writing that is so important to producing writing and definitely good poetry. So you can have words, so you can have a word like, I don't know, transform, transformers. This is going to be a poem about transformers and transformers has three syllables and another word, that'll be two syllables. And you can see how you plan that out. And then at the next level, you title the poem, and then you write it out. So you can uh, take transformers and write it out. So I've created the poem, and now you can see that the haiku is created, and you can change the text style, different styles. I think this is the most appropriate. You can change the background, or you can choose a new image to be the background. Um, I think this would be more appropriate for our haiku. And then you actually can save and you can save it temporarily, so you can keep on working on it, so you save a draft, or you can save it as a picture, so you can actually send it. And what I love about the way they've managed the sending through email is students don't actually have to have their own email. They just do it directly from the app so they can send it, they have to send it to somebody else who has an email, the teacher or a parent or a peer, but they don't actually have to use the mail app or to have an email address even. So even an elementary student in first or second grade can send it out as long as they have somebody to send it to. So this one is called Haiku. And the next one I want to show you is called Diamante, and Diamante poems are poems with a specific shape, and they also have a structure to them. And this one, again, the same kind of multiple users, a, a, short, ex a, a short explanation of what Diamantes are, and examples, so you can see examples that were done. This is a synonym and an antonym poem. And then you can start, and you need to create a title, 
this will be a poem about a tree, and then you need a, a beginning word and an end word, and the end word and beginning word are either antonyms or synonyms. Let's do a antonyms. So now, when I have those two, you'll see that those show up here, and they're very clear directions about how we can create the poem. And once we're done, again, we have that option of emailing the poem, saving it as a picture on the iPad, or temporarily saving it as a draft, so you can have kids create. This app will really guide kids through the creative process, and then they can share them with you, they can share them with each other, or they can send them even home. It's a great way to get another kind of poetry into the classroom. Uh, another poetry app in, uh, is one I've talked about before, and that is WordMover. In WordMover, you can create new poetry based on words that are there as part of speeches or famous work, or it can be uh, words you create on your own. So I will create new poetry, and I will use my own words, and I can add words and say things like, So I can add words and create this quickly, or if I decide to, to go back, I can use, let's say, Shakespeare's Sonnet 18. Now I have a word bank to work with. I can still add words if I'm missing them, and this is like working with poetry magnets. You just add the words. and play with it until you've got something that you'd like. And again, you can share it. So I can share my poetry as a picture on the iPad, or I can email it to whoever I want. Very quick and easy way to do some more free-flowing poetry, but have those vocabulary words come in and be helpful in spurring some creativity, which is much easier for most students and adults than facing the empty page and coming up with something out of nothing. So this one is called Word Mover. I've talked about it before, but I think that this is another good one to think about poetry. And the last one I want to talk about is called Theme Poems. And in Theme Poems, what you do is the app actually gives you a topic to write on, so you can choose the topic. And this is great if you're working with kids on ideas and you know that uh, they're not necessarily, uh, they don't necessarily have a sense of what they want to write about. This is an opportunity for them to choose a topic and then address it. And it has that shape, so this is very appropriate for working in elementary through uh, the grades. And you see you can select a theme, and I actually have an attempt of making a po poem about a square. And this is not easy to write a poem about a square, or at least for me, um, it's just a square. But you pick up words, so you create a vocabulary uh, ba word bank. This is an opportunity to work on word choice and to work on uh, other concepts. You can actually bring geometry into this and talk about right angles, right? So that's another way to think about this. And you can take as few or as many words as you'd like, but here is where you actually write out your poem. So this is where you enter your poem, and you say uh, something like, so this is my short poem. And if I finish it, again, I can save it as a draft, I can save a final and share it, or I can send it same way. So theme poem is a great way to get kids writing poetry about things that are concrete with the support of pre-planning, especially a focus on word choice. And poetry is such a wonderful vehicle to teach kids about words and about choosing the right word to evoke emotion or description. So this one is theme poems. So what we did today was talk about creating poetry with apps from Read, Write, Think, and we'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom. <laughs>